about 100 people and we take the top three answers. And those are the answers that we have up here on our lovely board. Now, if our contestants don't get the answers right, well, unfortunately, they don't get any points. But if they get it right, then the designated points that they have, they'll get the points. If for some reason we have a tie and have to go into round three to do a tiebreaker, we will. But we've never had one before, so let's see if we have one tonight. Woo! All right, are you guys ready to play? Ready! Yeah! All right! Randomly selected, we have had Team Aristotle go first. Are you all ready? Heck yeah, we are. All right. Your first question is, what are the qualifications of a virtuous friendship? A true friendship satisfies you mentally, physically, and emotionally. Do we have that up on the board today? What? I'm sorry. Amy, you do have one last chance to try and gain your team some points for this question. Well, I remember that a true friendship is actually deeper than just material things. It's caring about each other, being there for each other, and helping each other grow every day. Is that up on the board? What is this? I'm sorry. Would you like to see the correct answer? Yes, I would. All right. Our number one answer from our survey says... Bullshit. Lots of money. Bullshit. Who likes money? I know I like money. That's why That's I have this job. environmentally conscious. Is that up on the board? I'm sorry, you did not get to that. Good, why don't you try for your team? Uh, to me, a leader is someone who's considerate of all living things and selflessly aware of their surroundings. Interesting. Do we have that up on the board? I'm sorry, that is not up on the board today. Right, would you like to see what the answers are up on the board? Enlighten me. Alright, let's see here. Our number one answer from the surveys that we were just previously taken was a moocher. I have to agree, they are just so annoying and they just really piss me off. Answer number two would be a pothead. Do they really have any point in mind? You have a red point? And then, that's not the point. I'm the host of this game and that's all that matters. Our third answer would be a bum. Uh, they have no point in mind either. What's the point? People are really just need to figure out what to do with their lives and be successful and have a good time. Maybe next time, you know, on our next question you'll get one, but I'm sorry, wow. Team Quinn, you did not gain any points for this round. You're losers. We're going to take a short commercial break, and as soon as we get back, we will move on to round two, and maybe one team will actually get some points. Our court response. I know, right? Let's go check it out. Johnny Troops, when me and John Stewart Bill feel oppressed by the tyranny of the majority, we take a swig of Johnny Juice, and we're ready to go. Woo! Damn, that's good. Friends. I mean, come on. You don't even know 
have them. You have to have a connection. What's the matter? A stalker. You know, they actually do know just about everything about you. Just saying. And our third one would be Twitter followers. Twitter? I mean, come on, they what do follow it? you every you waking twit? moment. Really? All right, let's see if our um, Quinn family can gain some points, seeing how Aristotle's Loser. family obviously can't. All right, Quinn team. Or Quinn family. Do you think maybe you can get some points on the board this time? We yeah. got this. All right. Food. I read this like six Food. times. All right, this question determines if y'all win the game or if we go into round three. We got this. What best describes our role as humans? Well, I think as humans we should not take from nature, but we should learn from nature and you know, you not really use what, what Earth has given us, but rather, you know, kind of uh, play off of what has been given to us. What has been given to us? Is that on the board? on your team. Please tell me this useless game will be over. Um, well, I think according to Quinn, he would say that we're supposed to accept that we're a part of nature and that we don't own any part of nature and that we're not controllers. A part of nature, is that on the board? Uh, would you like? Well, let, let me just pause this right here. We have no score. How can you possibly be so dumb? No score. I think that maybe you're the one who's dumb because we were all educated people. Let's see the real answer. Is ready? Winning. Very important. What, 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 what did you mean? Like what? Very Could you important. interview Charlie Sheen for that? Yeah. Dominating others. I think she did really? Charlie Sheen. That's horrible. I like. Hey. Do not interfere with the host. I will have you escorted out of here. Kill stuff. That's pretty good right about now, if you ask me. So, because no team has any points, and of course this is a first in our history of doing Philosophy Feud, we are going to have to go into round three, which, honestly, I am kind of excited about, because we've never got to do round three before. And hopefully we will come out with a winner. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one member from each team come up here, and they will be asked one final question. And the first person to answer it correctly, or on this time, we're just going to see if anybody can answer it correctly, will win the game. But by the looks of it, we're not going to have a winner. So we'll be right back after this commercial break. Um, episode this week. I hope you know that this has been a very disrespectful 
game, and I'm very disappointed in the contestants that we have. And you won't be disappointed next week when we actually have some contestants that can actually gain some points. There is no winner this week. I hope you all have a wonderful day. See you next week.